Hey everyone, this is Jeff with AZ Boomer Adventure and I'm here to show you our new adventure. We got a Coleman Lantern 17B camper and I'm going to go through and show you all the wonderful things about it and maybe some of the things that I'm not so happy about. So stay tuned. Alright, so this is our new camper, the Coleman 17B actually Coleman Lantern 17B and uh, from what I was told it was uh, really pumped up um, during COVID and they mass produced a bunch of them and they were hot commodity actually we had to go on a waiting list I had to put a deposit down and uh, that was back in February uh, it is now May uh, we've had some um, issues that we got taken care of and uh, there was a recall on some of the wiring and the inverter that they put in some of them but they mass produce these so quickly that you know not all of them are the same I on Facebook which I'll put some links down below there are a couple different great sites on Facebook that really um, help people out who are dealing with the 17b but again, they were put out in such mass production that the quality is not the greatest. Uh, you can uh, it, you get what you pay for, basically. And it's a wonderful camper, don't get me wrong. We love it, it's, uh, it's per perfect for our needs. Um, but someone who's looking for a little bit more, um, you know, being spoiled, and uh, the more of the glamping life might not enjoy it as much. Uh, there's little things like screws missing and uh, the, the workmanship is just not the greatest. If you are at all handy, uh, this is a great camper because you can make modifications to it. There, like I said on Facebook, there's a couple great sites and uh, they talk about all the modifications they make and uh, have, they've given me a lot of great ideas as to what I want to do. And in the future, I will be posting videos on things that, that we do to make this our camper. Um, at this point, uh, it just basically has uh, most of the stock items that came with it. Um, but there are a few mods that I've made on the outside so far, just real quick, easy ones that um, were, are simple to do. First of all, more than anything, I put a lock on the hitch uh, on the, uh, the, the cup and uh, that way uh, no one can just come up and grab it. I've also been told it's a good idea to lock your chains around it because they can also just hook up your chains and take your camper away. Um, and I've heard stories and them being taken in storage and stuff like that. So um, just something that you might, you know, a little precaution gives you a little ease of mind when um, you're leaving it or storing it somewhere. Now one of the first things I ended up doing was I put a cutoff. Uh, on the battery and it's right here and that cutoff actually is going to save the battery when it is in storage. Uh, really simple, easy to install. There's a lot of great videos out on YouTube that show how to do it. If you have any, it, it doesn't even take a huge amount of wiring experience. I did have to um, grab a little bit of extra wire uh, you have to and and to make it work, and um, you know you can get some uh, battery cables and stuff like that at Walmart, relatively inexpensive, uh, inexpensively. Okay, so that that was one of the first things, and the reason why you want to do that is uh, there are a couple mechanisms that do run constantly, even um, if you have the switch inside by the inverter off the lights and I think it's the smoke detector and a few things are running still constantly and they will drain your battery uh, while it's in storage. So you want to um, put a cutoff in if you can. Uh, secondly, this came, and it's one of the things they advertise, it came pre-wired for solar, which is kind of funny. Uh, let me see if I can get in there. It's right. 
right there. Um, it's just a little solar jack. And when they say pre-wired for solar, that means they put a little thing in there that you can plug your solar into, but that's it. It doesn't really do anything else. They had it wired to the battery. Um, and if you know anything about solar, uh, through the years I've dealt with a, uh, quite a few little uh, solar projects. And when I, we used to have a pop-up camper, I would uh, connect a solar panel to my battery to keep it charged. Um, I learned quite quickly that you can't just keep a solar panel directly to your battery unless you're watching it. Uh, and if you let it go throughout the night, it will actually drain your battery. So you want to get a solar controller. And I'll show you on the inside what I did in how I put a solar controller in. So if I wanted to, I could um, actually keep my battery topped off. Um, if I wanted to put a little panel on there during, you know, while it's in storage and stuff like that, I could do that. Um, we'll have to see how that goes. So here's a couple other mods that I've just kind of added to it. Um, of course, I added a spare tire. Sometimes I've heard people who, when they, when they buy them, um, they come with a spare tire. Well, ours didn't. So I added this spare tire holder and it, Oh, it was on Amazon, really easy to install. Uh, I, I would say, you know, just takes a, a wrench and you're good to go. <coughs> it's not hard at all. Excuse me. <coughs> and then the second thing I added is a hitch. Um, I put a hitch on there because we are going to be putting a bike rack on here and um, towing our bikes on the back. Now, one of the problems that has occurred on some of the sites that I've been watching and um, some of the blogs is that um, this bumper is not welded on all that great. Uh, it's just got a couple small little welds that hold the bumper on. It's not made to hold a lot. It's, it's just a bumper. It is a basically a tube bumper that you can put your uh, black water tanks or gray water tanks uh, uh, your uh, drain pipes into and it, it will hold there. It basically holds one um, and <clears throat> it's got caps on the end. Now going on the fact that it has very thin welds on it, I've heard stories about people putting weight on it and you know even just putting the uh, spare tire on and it falling off in the road or coming starting to come off. So <clears throat> excuse me so I decided um, there was a couple uh, YouTube videos and people have talked about uh, beefing up the the bumper so that it can hold a little bit more. So I bought these on Amazon. There's some supports. Uh, and I had to use a little JB Weld to basically make them work. Um, you have they they have a. a a system where you have to break off a part for depending on how your your bumper is and then you flip it around and put it in front or back and um, with all the other welds that were on here as well as the jack I had to put them on the inside of the bumper which was even more complicated but I was able to do it and uh, we got them on both sides here. Let me see if I can get a better shot over there. And that gives you an idea of what, what they do. They, they basically uh, have a way of connecting into the frame a little bit more and adding a little bit more support to the bumper. Uh, I was told it can hold now up to 400 pounds. So uh, putting the bikes on there and having a spare tire, I'm not as concerned now or worried about the bumper falling off. So with our camper, we're looking at this basically as a weekender type situation. There are people that live full time in these. Um, and there's some people with families of four or five that live in them full time. I'm not sure how they do it. it. It seems like it would be kind of tough, but they do. So that's, uh, you know, kudos to them uh, if they can do that. One of the problems with this camper is it doesn't have a lot of space. 
uh, for storage. You've got your one front storage up here to the outside, real basic. Uh, it, it, it really doesn't hold a lot. And the opening is just enough that regular crates just don't slide in and out. So um, I wasn't too happy with that. But um, you can fit some of your basic stuff that you need in and out inside there. I keep uh, the, the cables and um, uh, extension cords and things like that so that I can grab them real quick and put, you know, when, we're, when we're setting up. Um, it is nice, it does have some outdoor outlets, so when you are hooked to shore power, uh, you can have some outlets outside while you're you know, camping and plug some things in and maybe do some cooking and stuff outside. I do have a little camping table that I'm gonna be putting on the outside out here. Uh, it's, it's, it does have some basic necessities. So as you can see, it does come with an awning I opened up the door there uh, so I can get in and I'm going to open up the awning. Uh, it, it's a nice little awning, provides a lot of shade. I would not attach or hang anything to it. It's not super strong and uh, any slight wind you, 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 you kind of got to pull it in because it can um, blow away pretty quick. But it does provide some great shade so I'm going to go in here real quick. I'm going to go up here. Uh, you can't see the panel very well. It's kind of dark in here. Let me turn the light on. And we've got our panel. And basically, you just open the awning by pushing the button. And it's real simple. Now, some people have said don't overextend it. Some people have said don't worry about it. Um, when we were shown the camper, it flipped open and a piece flops down. But um, I'm not. I'm not too keen on taking it all the way out at this point. But that's what it looks like and it, it, it provides some really good shade. Um, again, you have to be really careful with it. Uh, I've heard stories a lot of people show that their arms get bent fairly easy if you're not paying attention. The other problem is the door opens up into it, um, which can cause some issues too. So um, just you got to be aware of these things and be careful with it. So, like I said earlier, these campers were mass produced and uh, just a year ago or, or so, uh, the camper came with the front door not having a window in it. You'll see some uh, Coleman Lantern 17Bs with a window, without a window. Some have larger windows by the kitchen. Uh, some have larger windows on the other side. It all depended on what they had available at the time when they were producing these. Uh, so in the next video coming up, I will actually go inside and we will look at all the features on the inside. Uh, it does have your water here. You've got your city connection and then you um, have your uh, where you put your water in for storage for uh, when you want to go boondocking. And uh, it, it's fairly simple to use, has a pump down in there, keeps everything flowing. And then you've got your 30 amp connection out here. And right now I've got it connected just to our basic home. Um, I'm using just a normal extension, which is uh, in the past with my pop-up, I had to use a 30 amp cord, but it seems to be working all right with that. You've got your gray tank and your black tank empty down here. Um, 
and real basic. Uh, there's tons of videos out there on how to use them if you are questioning. And uh, actually this window right here to, that is right next to the bunks has an emergency exit uh, so that you can pop it out if you need to get out in a hurry. And, and then of course I ended up having my uh, logo put on to the tire cover and uh, I can uh, put a link below on where I got that. Uh, it, it's, you can have them custom made with whatever you want on them. I thought that was pretty cool. But that is our new Coleman 17, Coleman Lantern 17B made by Dutchman. And uh, we are excited and looking forward to a lot of great adventures. Stay tuned for the next video where I go on the inside and we will be looking at all the great features on the inside. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and click that like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Thanks.